Hey guys, I'm gonna be filming another video today. It's gonna be on sexuality, gender, all that stuff. Anything LGBT this video is gonna be on. And if you like this type of video, hit the notification bell on the top and subscribe and you will get notified when I post a video. And if you guys would like comment, it would mean so much to me. It would mean a lot. And this video is gonna be a tough topic subject to talk about, and I feel like I should. So, we are. All right. What do I identify as? A lot of people ask that. Am I male? Am I female? What am I? Um, I don't like labels. Never have. But if I have to categorize myself as something, I'm gender fluid, meaning I like anything I like, like gender-wise. Like, um... Male, female, who cares? I, I wear what I want. If I like it, I buy it. And that's all that should matter. If I want to wear women's clothes, let me. If I want to wear, like, guy clothes, baggy ass clothes, let me. Being myself. If I don't want to wear makeup, I don't have to wear makeup. If I want to wear makeup, I can. And that should not matter. At all. But in today's age, I get often asked, am I male? Am I female? What am I? Um, I'm Tommy. Just Tommy, I'm being myself. I don't care what you call me, he, she, it. As long as you don't call me it, I don't really care. Call me he, call me she, call me they, them. Perfect, great, love it. Um, that's my view on gender fluid to my opinion. Um, and that's where I am with that. And if I ever want to, not be gender fluid anymore and pick a gender, I can. And I don't really want to. I like being myself and my sexuality. Don't like putting labels on things, but I would say I'm gay, but honestly, I don't want to be tied down to that. So I'm bisexual, I say, because I like females and I like guys. It depends on how you treat me. Like I like your heart, not your gender. If you treat me really well, great. If you treat me like shit, I don't like you. Like, if you treat me really well and you respect me and you're caring and nice, I like that. I don't want some person that I'm dating to be a total ass. I can't do that. So, basically, that's where I put on gender fluid. Like, I'm gender fluid. I'm Tommy. Like, I wear whatever, I do whatever, and that's really all that should matter. But... People ask me all the time, what am I? And I hate when I go for like job interviews or jobs and they're like male or female. Can I just not pick one because I'm not that? Like, just because my license is male on it doesn't mean I'm male. Just because my license has certain things on it doesn't mean I'm that. So, that's the whole thing about working and having jobs and doing all this stuff. That's why I love being a makeup artist because I'm doing something really cool. I'm being creative and gender doesn't exist in makeup and it shouldn't and people shouldn't give a shit about that um honestly people should just let people be themselves and live and love themselves and if they're not hurting anybody let it go if somebody is being a total freaking annoying person to somebody and being mean that's what you should care about if someone's being totally okay and nice and being themselves and not hurting others just let them live. Just let people live and let people be themselves and love who they want and do whatever they want. That's my opinion on that. Um, gender fluidity is a very d tough topic to talk about. Being gender fluid to me means not obeying standards and society's standards about gender. It's me being every gender I want to be. Me being male, me being female, me being both, me being a mixture of both. Like, if I want to wear makeup one day and wear, like, the most manly clothes ever, I'm being me. If I want to wear jeans and a crop top and makeup, I'm still being me. And it shouldn't matter. Same with, like, my voice. Like, people are like, ma'am, and I speak, they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm like, okay, that's where I hate it. That's where I freaking hate that. Just because my voice is deep does not mean I'm not me. Does not mean I can't be very feminine and then be called called Alan guy. No, 
My voice is my voice. My body is my body. My gender is my gender. If I want to wear something female, let me. And don't be a total ass about that. If I want to wear something manly, let me. Don't call me ma'am or he or this or that. It's annoying to me, especially when I go in bathrooms. I use the guy's bathroom and people are like, oh, wrong bathroom. No, bitch. It's not. I get to pee wherever the hell I want to pee. If I want to pee on the damn floor, I will. If I want to pee in the men's bathroom, let me. Because I can show you what I have. And if I want to pee in the women's rest restroom, let me. Who really cares? If I want to pee anywhere or go to the bathroom anywhere and take a freaking whatever, let me. Because I'm me. And I'm tired of people being like, what are you? You know what? Screw you. I'm me. I'm just Tommy. I'm a very outgoing, friendly, caring person that cares so much about people and the world and helping others. Especially because I've went through this as a kid. I went through this as a young teenager, figuring out my sexuality, my gender, and everything. And I've always, had to, I've always felt like I had to pick. And I don't. As long as I'm being myself and being 100% myself, I don't care. If I want to date a woman, I can. If I want to date a guy, I can. If I don't want to date, I don't have to date. If I want to be open and honest, I can. If I don't want to be, I don't have to be. If I want to wear what I want to wear, let me. If I want to eat really healthy, let me. If I want to do anything, just let me do me. And just don't make judgment on that. Do not bully people because of how they are. Do not bully somebody with mental illness. Do not do that. If someone has depression or anxiety, it sucks. And I've gone through it, and I still go through it. But you can't force somebody to get out of it. You can't force somebody to get help for it if they don't want to get help for it. If somebody wants to get help for it, they will. And they will get better. Because it's there on their terms. Just like me, if I want to wear what I want to wear, it's on my terms. I don't care. If I want to go outside in six inch heels, I will. I don't really care. If people have problems with that, take it up with me or shove it up your ass. Because I don't care. If you love me for being me, great. Cool, we're friends. We get along. If you target me out, I don't like you, basically. Um, same with family members and like friends and stuff. I don't really care what people call me. If you want to call me Tommy, go for it. If you want to call me sh he, she, they, them, go for it. If you want to call me anything, as long as you don't call me it, you're fine. Um, same with getting pulled over or anything like that. I've been called ma'am. Cool. Then I look at my license and like, oh, sorry, sorry. It's just like, you have my license in your hands. You don't have to be a total dick about it. Um, same with going shopping and stuff. Like, people are like, oh, ma'am. I'm like, then I speak. They're like, oh, sorry, sir. It's just like, why? Just call me by me, Tommy, not by gender. Who cares? It's 2019. Grow up. Same with a lot of clothing companies and shoe companies. To me, it's just... Fashion. Fashion is just fashion, and if I want to wear something, I can. Um, another thing that ticks me off about fashion companies and stuff, they only make up to a size certain, and it's just like, why? Same with shoes. They only make, like, they make good shoes. Like, let me just say, like, if you get a size that's 14 in a woman's, the shoe options are limited, and I don't like that. Why? Is it because it's more money to make? Who cares? If somebody want, has a size 14 foot, make nice shoes. Same with the drag queens. If they want to have bigger feet and they want to buy some nice shoes, you should let them. Same with like, I'm not calling out Christian Libertad on this, but he only makes up to a size 12 and a half of shoes. That pisses me off because I have a size 14 technically. And some shoes I could squeeze into a 12 or a 13. But honestly, if someone's paying like $700 for a pair of shoes, you should really make every size and make gender non-conforming clothes for companies. Like to me, they should have gender fluid clothes, male and female. Not many brands do that and that's what they should do. Same with going into women's clothing stores and you get awkward stares. Please shush up, shut up. I'm shopping for me. I'm not buying this for a friend or my sister or anything like that. I'm buying it for moi. You have a problem with it, shush it. I'm paying you, I'm taking my product. I'm paying for something, meaning you should not judge, period. Same thing when I have fake nails on. People look at me like, what? Um, 
It's nails. It doesn't mean anything. It's fashion. If I want fake nails, let me have fake nails. If you have a problem with that, that's on you, not on me. Same with companies and standards and all this stuff. It pisses me off so much. Like, they want you to be certain gender. Um, just because my license is male does not mean I'm male. Just because I go out looking feminine does not mean I'm a girl. It means I'm being myself and I'm being whatever I want to be that day. If I want to be a stripper for Halloween, let me be a stripper because I'll make that outfit work. Thank you for that. Um, same with a lot of things with the communities and LGBT communities. People call people out on this shit all the time. It pisses me off because gender is gender. Transitioning is transitioning. There is no guideline. There's no book manual on how you should call people. Call them by their names, not by calling them out, being like, oh, you're not a real trans person or you're not a real this or that. Shut up because they're doing them and that's their perspective on it. When Trisha Paytas came out as being transgender, everybody had a problem with it. Why should it matter? If she's transgender, let her be herself or himself. If Trisha wants to cut off her hair or go out looking really manly, he could do that. If he wants to be in makeup and heels and all that stuff, let him. He's being him. There's no right or wrong way to transition. There's no right or wrong way to do anything. It's just because everyone has their own perspectives on things and their own thoughts on things that make everything blown up out of context. Same with like beauty gurus and everything like that. If they make one mistake, they get lots of hate. We're humans. We're allowed to make mistakes. We're human beings. We make mistakes. Just because you're an influencer and people hold you to a higher standard, you're not allowed to make a mistake. No. Mistakes happen. We're human. We can't do anything about that. It's part of our DNA. We make mistakes. We mess up. But if we apologize for it and we do try to do different things differently... They're being them. They're being human. Don't hate people for that. Same with people gaining weight. Why do people call people out on that? Weight is not nothing. It's just weight. Doesn't mean you're not good enough. Does not mean you're not pretty. Does not mean anything. Weight is just a number. Your worth is worth so much more than your weight. And I hate when people call people out on that. When Jacqueline Hill was getting called fat and all that stuff, it made my blood boil because she's allowed to gain weight. We're all allowed to do anything. We're allowed to lose weight. We're allowed to be ourselves. And when people criticize people on their weight, how do you think that makes people feel? Good? No. It makes people feel terrible. Same with, like, she's not allowed to gain weight because people don't want her to, but it's a human body. Human bodies gain weight. Human bodies lose weight. Human beings do whatever they have to do. If somebody is stressed out and they eat more, or if they're stressed out and they do whatever, who it's they're still being a human being. You should not criticize them on that. Just like anything that happens online, do not take it personally. It's the internet. People make mistakes. People say wrong things. Don't judge people based on that. Judge them based on their heart and how they act. If they have a really genuine heart, treat them with respect. If they have, treat everybody with respect and kindness. Treat them how you would want to be treated. If you treat them like crap. Do you want to be treated like crap too, basically? That's just my opinion on that. Honestly, look at the world with an open mind and look at the world with open eyes. Because it's 2019, people can be themselves no matter what. And I think that's all for this video. I just wanted to get out a little bit of a rant on gender and all those topics. Um, if you like this type of video, if you want to subscribe and follow me and join me on my journey of life hit the notification bell and subscribe comment like share it means so much to me and this description will be with my social medias and everything you could follow personally and i would leave down lgbt support groups in the description as well um i love you all thank you so much till next time bye